Hey guys, I know it's been a long time that you guys actually see my altar, but this is my altar. It is a screen, extremely cluttered. It's dusty for like, like it hasn't been dusted for a long time. And I kind of like having dust on some things because it makes it look, you know, rusted, which, you know, later find out that dust is really human skin, which is kind of creepy. But oh well, moving on from that. Um, as you can see, it is bleeding and pouring out from my altar. Um, it's supposed to be, I had a gold ages, uh, goal ages ago where I want to keep it only in the closet so it doesn't leak out, it doesn't, it's not open to the, you know, public, not like my bedroom is a very public domain, but I like to keep it kind of contained and hidden away from people because I don't want people to be, you know, I don't want to invite people from coming in just touching everything. I'm very meticulous about my things. I don't like anyone touching my stuff. It's kind of, hey, it's not, you don't see me going to your house and touching every little thing or liking every little thing in your house. So that being said, as you see, it's very cluttered. Um, I have candles puking out from underneath my altar table. I have all this corner here full of items. This is like the only non winchy thing is, and I got this from my birthday, on my 29th birthday from my nephew and niece, and they, they designed it, which is like super cute. But as you see, I have a huge amount of candle wax. Um, it's dusty and cluttered up there. It, my incense back there, it's just, duh, it's just, ugh. it kind of irks me a little. So tonight, um, you guys are pretty lucky because it's going to be instant for you guys, but it's going to be taking me for a couple hours to handle this. But tonight, I am going to clean my altar and kind of make it spot and shiny. <laughs> it's just like, like honestly, there's like tape right here. There's, you know, charms that I need to put up. There's my skull that I found and I'm so happy. I found it in the garage, which is, I don't know why it was doing in the garage, but I need to figure out if I want to keep them just your black or not. There's Henry. Um, thank God I spam wrapped this so it doesn't fall everywhere. There's tarot cards back there. Um, there's some oracle decks. My my sage bundles. My, well here it is. See, this is what this is what I get for not being clean. My frankincense myrrh oil, which I really adore. Um, I also have another deck of cards in there, down there. I have this to kind of take care of. Um, candles and stuff. This, these books need to be sent out. Um, as you can kind of see, it's very dusty. Cat hair galore. This is what happens when you own a cat. Um, been really debating about keeping these empty, uh, um, seven eight candles. Um, because I was thinking about filling this, filling these up again and having candles. Because I really love those candles. I work... I work with those candles almost like crazy on a daily basis. I have an oil burner that's just like sit in the middle of nowhere. Um, that is open, which is kind of some of my older stuff. Some of the books are dusty and rearranged. Um, the lighting up there, oh sorry for the lighting, but up there, surprising enough that's very organized. <laughs> Including my oils and my oils over here, they're pretty organized, which I'm very very happy for. But down here is just a mess, so me and Ryan tonight we're gonna clean it out, sweep, vacuum, um, I also need to take down my Christmas lights because three bulbs are burnt out, which that means like, you know, third time's a charm, they're old, which is kind of bad. Um, they burned out really easy because I used to, and I probably still do every now and then, I used to leave my candlelight, or leave my, um, Christmas lights on. Just leave those lights on all day long. And it's not just like, oh, I'm wasting energy, I'm wasting electricity, or yada yada yada. But I like the feel of it. When I do that, it kind of invites me, it kind of alerts me to come over here and say, hey, you need to take care of it. You need to come here and handle it. And it used to, I used to maintain as much as possible, but I have been a lazy witch. A lazy, lazy witch. And I need to get jumped. I need to jump in this and start cleaning. Um, I might do it just now and before I pick up Brian from work. I might just like organize some stuff before he gets into it because boyfriend likes to actually <laughs> hey, can I have this? Can I have this? And try to make something witchy out of it and then he keeps it for himself because he's a huge Halloween fan so it kind of sucks somewhat. <laughs> 
having a very theatrical, crafty boyfriend sometimes because he would look at something and he's like, can I take this? I'm like, whoa, I haven't used that in the spell yet. Oh, I'm a hoarder, a witchy hoarder. <laughs> so that being said, um, the next thing that you guys are going to see is it's all going to be lit up and clean up and beautiful and glamorous and sexy and oh my god, I want to sleep on that kind of feeling looks. Um, which is so cool because surprisingly enough, tomorrow is the super last super full moon. Um, so maybe when you guys watch this video, it might be you know past that. But tomorrow will be the super super full moon, which I really need to start connecting to Hecate again because we used to do her day uh, her monthly full moon rituals, and I just need to get back to uh, my witchy self and start mixing some things up and start working. It. So, so then, guys, as you see the next scene, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, as you see, I finally cleaned as much as possible. I got rid of a lot of crap. I got rid of most of those little seven day novice glass. I was like, you know what? If I'm going to really do it, I'm going to do it. If not, not. So pretty much organized a little bit over here. So it's still the same settings. I dust like crazy. Um, the tapestry, I mean, it's like a cheap 97 cents. I think I paid for it for like, I think it was like five, five feet, I think, for like 97 cents. Walmart was trying to get rid of it. It was cut in clearance rack. So it's really hard to dust tapestry if you're really big on incense or you spill candle wax or whatever. It's really hard to clean it because it's just, it's kind of damaged. So that's why I never really used. Um, never really use like pricey tapestry or beautiful tapestry unless the, a lot of the candles are in like, as you see, my cauldron. Um, I have a green little, small little, small little seven day candle. I call those um, three and a half days candles. Humorous. Ha ha ha. Anyways, it's all clean. Everything's dusted. Um, over here, let me see if I can beam the lighting over there. How about that? Over here is all dusted and organized. All my uh, spell bottles that are ready to be used is all here, corked and ready. Um, some of my bells, um, my little uh, stone egg bells, uh, twine, I go through twine like nobody's business. Twine is like my it thing. Um, some candle holders and whatnot and decorations are down here and you know, some bit of candles like, see, these are ready to be used. Um, my Egyptian statues and, st and statuette, should I say? To, um, I'm not ready to use her. She's a kind of a chaotic uh, goddess. I mean, skim it. I mean, she's really. I mean, just looking at this kind of makes me. And it's still dusty. And I really need to dust this. Um, still, I really love her. She's really beautiful looking. But I am scared to work with her until I get a little more knowledge in her. Until I know of her and what she can do. Um, like I said, organized. Everything's kind of dusty, cleaned. My crystal balls back there, both of them. I got one and two back there. My little Hecate area, which is really hard to see because I have tall candles. And I found these lilac lavender colored um, tapish tapers. And I kind of want to burn them off during the full moon next month because I feel like, you know, lavender is my it color. I got some incense rolling for cleansing. But yeah clean cleanse I know it still looks cluttered a lot of people say you have a lot of stuff is this like anything practical uses and yes it is and it helps me influence with my my imagery most if I do spell work most of my spell work is done right here in the middle um, because it's the center of my altar and whatnot but yeah thought you guys will enjoy it um, looking at the after so FYI it is getting close to uh, fall equinox over here in the states. So how about you will clean your altars? And I would love to see videos of your guys' altars before and after um, when you clean uh, before the messiness and then clean afterwards. So till then, guys, blessed be.